Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to use STAD Advanced Concrete Design to design the concrete beams for a structure that has already been created in STAD Pro. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the first step in our workflow once we create our new model in STAD Advanced Concrete Design, which is to enter your design and detailing settings within the program. To access all of these settings, you're going to go to the settings menu bar item and walk your way through these first four settings. And we're going to start with our general and reinforcement settings. Now within this dialog, you can specify what grade of material you are going to be using for both the concrete and the reinforcement. You could specify your preferences for your main or shear reinforcement, and you can also enter a couple of design settings. Here we're going to take a look at a few of the design setting options. And we're going to take a look at this first option to ignore torsion. Now with this option selected, torsion in beams less than a particular value that is set will be ignored. For this particular training, we're going to go ahead and leave this option unselected. Next, we're going to take a look at the ductile design option. You're going to select this option if the frames are part of a special moment frame or an intermediate moment frame. For our particular model, we're going to say to consider ductile design and we're going to assume special moment frames. The last setting we're going to discuss is the flanged beam setting. Now beams can be designed as flanged sections in stat advanced concrete design. Slabs that were also designed in this program can be then imported to get the flange action. The depth of the flange can also be entered in the input table. Now for this particular model, we are going to assume that we are not performing a flanged beam design, so we'll go ahead and leave that unselected. Now at this point, you'd want to review the rest of your general and reinforcement settings and make any customizations per your product specifications. Once you're done, let's go ahead and click OK. And we're ready to move on to the next set of settings. To do that, we're going to go to the settings menu bar option again and go to rebar curtailment. Here you'll be able to specify any of the curtailment settings for both the top steel and bottom steel. You can also set your shear zone information. We're going to keep all of the default settings and then click OK. Next, let's return to the settings menu bar option and select the detailing and drawing settings. Here you can specify any drawing settings that you would like when creating your detail drawings. So in STAD Advanced Concrete Design, we can produce full CAD drawings for all of your bars or reinforcement within your concrete beams. This would include elevations of your concrete beams. It would include bar bending schedules and so forth. For this particular model, we'll go ahead and keep all of these settings and click OK. And then finally, we're going to return to the settings menu and select the last option for preferred bar spacing. Here you can review any of the default parameters and make changes per your specifications. For this particular model, I'm going to keep all of the default settings and then click OK. And before proceeding on, I'm going to go ahead and save my model. And this completes the process for entering all of the settings for your particular system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.